Hi everyone and welcome to Brandon on Tech. Today we're going to look at weather apps. If you're into tech like me, you might have a love of weather data and the tech you can get from that data. We're going to talk about a great piece of hardware that will serve up your weather right at your house and some apps that integrate with that hardware and my favorite one. But before we get started, please be sure to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe to be notified when I post new videos. Let's get started. Now I get my weather from a Tempest weather station. If you haven't heard of Tempest, it's this super cool hardware that you mount in your backyard and it'll pull temp, wind, rain measurements, and a bunch of other data right at your house. Mine's mounted on my roof. It's solar and connects to your network via Wi-Fi with a hub you power from inside your house. It does not connect with an ethernet cable, completely Wi-Fi. So we're talking about weather apps you can use with the Tempest weather station. If you've got one of these, you might just be using the Tempest app or maybe just the default weather app on your phone. Specifically, we're gonna look at four apps, Tempest, Carrot, Teapot for Tempest, and Weather Underground. And I'll show you how you can use your Tempest as the live weather source for these apps. Let's start off with Tempest and just what Tempest is and the weather that you get from it. So it's a hardware device that you would mount at your house. You would have access to weather, local weather at your location, and your station gets an ID, and then you can see your weather forecast. So you have access to things like uh, your historical data, you have access to uh, maps, so you'd be able to see all of that. If you went into history, you would see past weather conditions. But what I want to focus in on is settings. If I scroll all the way down, you're going to see data authorizations under more. And we're going to click on that just so you can see what's going on here. There's a couple things that happen. There's personal use uh, tokens. And these are tokens that an app might ask you to put in. And, and you would need to generate by creating a token and then you would get your token and you'd put that into the app and that would make a connection to Tempest and the app. So you could view your Tempest data through an app like uh, Carrot, for example. And then there are integrations where you don't need a personal use token. Um, there's already an established link between the integration and Tempest. So something like Dackboard, which I've um, talked about in previous videos, and something like Tidbit, already have these connections made where within the app of Tidbit and within the app of Dackboard, you can go in and log into Tempest from the app. So I just wanted to kind of show you that, show you if you have a Tempest and you haven't done anything with like personal use tokens or data authorizations, I want to show you where it's at so you can go in there and you can start uh, playing around with apps. There's quite a few out there. I'm focusing on a few of them today. I'm sure there's way more out there. Um, but let's jump in and start looking at some of these apps. Okay, first app that we've got uh, is Tempest. And this is the app that you would use if you've got a Tempest weather station. You would have this probably loaded up on your phone and it does a great job of giving you weather um, if I scroll down, it's going to show much like what you see on the web interface. Um, historical data, you can go into weather, you can go into settings and check information on your station, see how they're running, see how they're, if they're working properly. Um, good app, it, it gives you weather. Um, might want to get something a little more fun or graphically that looks a little nicer. Kind of up to you there. Um, Tempest is free. You pay for a Tempest weather station, of course, but uh, the app just comes with the, the hardware. Uh, some widgets that are available. There's a small widget there, and then there's some larger widgets that are available as well. So that is Tempest. Not going to spend a ton of time on it because it just comes with it. Um, what I want to get into next is Carrot. Okay, Carrot is a great weather app. This is actually my favorite app and it's the one I would recommend. 
Um, it does require a subscription to Carrot, so there is a cost associated with it. Um, but if you don't mind that and you like what Carrot has to offer, it's been around for a long, long time. Uh, we'll jump into the app here. You can customize the, your screens. You can set all of that up. Um, there are widgets available and you can add uh, a bunch of different widgets. So if I go in, you'll see all of the different widgets that are available that you can add in. When you go into Carrot, you can go into settings and if you go to source and scroll down, you will see personal weather stations. When you go to personal weather stations, there's weather flow. And if I tap on that, you'll see that I'm currently logged in, but there is Tempest. So uh, Carrot is connecting to Tempest. And when I pull up Carrot, I am actually pulling up my weather station. So it's a nice thing. Um, I can get the local weather, but I can get the weather that's straight at my house using Carrot. Next up is Teapot for Tempest. This is the third app here on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And this is what you get. So it's actually measuring and set up to measure weather from my Tempest station. Very minimal app, uh, not a lot to it. I actually am not a big fan of it, to be quite honest. Uh, it is a subscription app. Uh, I believe it's like $3 a month or $9 for the year. Um, personally, I don't think it's really worth it. Um, but it does show the potential for what you can do with weather that you get from your Tempest. You have your home screen with just basic weather information. You can tap on storm at the bottom, see a map of uh, some rain, looks like it's coming in. And then you can look at your forecast. And the last is settings where you can actually go in and plug in station info. So station info is gonna be um, the ID, the device ID, and then the token that we've talked about how to acquire um, from there. Once you plug that in, you can test your connection and you'll be synced up to pull weather from the Tempest into this app. Weather Underground is a little bit different where um, you actually will need to go to the Weather Underground website and create an account. And then you'll go to My Profile. Once you're in My Profile, you'll go to My Devices under Member Settings. And then you will most likely, you'll see no devices there. So uh, what you're going to do is add a new device. And when you add a new device, it will take you through Wizard um, the first thing you're going to do is select your personal weather station and it's a uh, weather flow is what you would want to select there. And then when you hit next, you're going to put in your address. It's going to take you through a little wizard to create this account or this, this personal weather station, I should say. And then um, once you are done doing that, it will provide you a ID and a key that you will then go over to Tempest and you'll go to the tempestwx.com website. You may need to create an account there as well, um, but you'll create an account or log into your existing account and then you're going to go into stations. You're going to go into your station and then public data and then you will see weather underground. And when you go into Weather Underground, you're going to be prompted to put in the station ID and the station key that you got from the Weather Underground site. And then once you do that, your station ID will be, you'll be able to find that station ID in the Weather Underground app. And then you can pull your weather from, uh, direct from the Tempest using the station ID that's now been linked as a personal a PWS or personal weather station within Weather Underground. And that is how you um, connect Tempest to Weather Underground. Once you have your weather station set up as we've gone through, um, it'll take maybe a day or two for that to show up uh, um, as green. So once you add the device in, it's gonna, it's gonna, I think it'll say offline as we just saw. 
and then uh, keep checking back and it'll change to online and that means that this is actually now pulling data uh, from the Tempest and if I want to um, and you'll get a station ID identifier as well and then if I click on my station it'll actually pull up the weather and I have all that information here as well on the screen so it's actually a really nice web experience if you want to just go in and look at this on the web let's look at what it looks like from the app now that we've gotten everything set up on the website with weather underground and we've got the station connected um, the tempest station connected into weather underground it takes a, a little while for that to update within weather underground and then once that's established as we've seen I can now go into the app and I actually am still waiting for my weather station to show up in the app itself but to show you what it might look like once you're in weather underground you'll be pulling from your location weather but if you go to the search at the top left and you find the station ID and as an example you'll see the station ID there for Old Town Tustin you'll look for your station ID which will be these letters and a number after that and then you'll be able to pull your station's data into the app. The app itself is pretty basic. Um, I think it used, I haven't used Weather Underground in, in quite some time, I gotta be honest, um, but I think it used to give you more information. Um, it doesn't give you as much, uh, and it's, it's actually kind of plain. It's almost like a teapot experience, um, but you will pull your weather here. There are no widgets for this app, so there's no uh, widgets you can put on your home screen, so keep that in mind as well. So that wraps up our showdown on the Tempest apps. We looked at the Tempest app, we looked at Carrot, we looked at Teapot, and we looked at Weather Underground. I hope you guys found some valuable information in this, uh, mainly how to set up a Tempest and pull data from that into one of these apps, or maybe one of the many others that are probably out there. My overall pick is Carrot. I think it's a great app. Definitely worth the subscription. Um, until next time, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>